Matthew continues the, the discussion, the presentation, the imaging of, of, of trying to sort out what's going on in the lives of the early community and why they end up in the situation they end up with part of the folks, part of their folks, part of their families, um, continuing to follow one way while they're finding their way into the new way, the way of Jesus. And he explains it this time with a, a wedding feast. And, and it's, it's a great parable because it doesn't allow us to sink back into the us and them thing. It just, again, focuses on what's my response as a member of this new community. And it does that by the image of the, of the wedding garment. You know, are you are you probably living are you properly living out that which you're called to live out have you put on Christ in your life are you really really living that way um, it's not a difference between Jews and Jewish Christians it's a difference between people who are faithful and unfaithful and they come in all sorts of colors and shapes and sizes and religions either and so the word of God comes to us today and says, think of that for yourself before you go, judging one group or another group um, in this time of violence, for instance, in the Middle East, but before you go off with, with partial information about what's going on, um, before you focus on judging them, start here, start with the purity of your heart. doesn't mean you don't look at a political situation and decide what you need to do about it. Of course, you need to do that. But start with your own baptismal garment. Start with the purification of your own heart. Start with putting on Christ in your life to the degree that you can accept the grace that's there, let it clean you, and then begin to do your analysis. And you, you'll come up with, well, maybe something closer to what God sees and how God might want things to turn out, and that you'll know what to do. Uh, you'll know what your work is in that. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.